right guys, so when you're going through your training, I know one of the things you're gonna see is you're gonna see me write in drills and strides before all of your workouts, all your hard sessions, and all of your races. So, let's go through that. What do drills and strides mean? You might already have your own version of drills. And here's the thing with all these drills, and if you wanna stick with your own drills that you're already doing, that's totally fine. Um, the biggest thing is I don't want it to take forever. Like your drills should take like five minutes. Uh, the strides should take another like two or three minutes. So, you know, we don't want to spend a whole bunch of energy. We want you warmed up, we want your legs firing, but we don't want you exhausted on the starting line of a race. So, um, just as long as you're keeping it pretty fairly tight, your routine, feel free to uh, keep in the drills that you currently have. But the principle with drills, and with these drills in particular, and all drills, is just to, uh, number one, and you know, like I talked about in the first video about form, is I want everything really tall, right? So, really, like think about like making yourself as high as possible kind of thing. Um, and then I'm also looking for a return off the ground. This is something that's super important because as we do more and more distance, I even noticed this with seeing video of myself running in the Beijing Olympics, for example, it looked like my foot was just on the ground a long time. So we're gonna train our feet to get on and off the ground quick. We're gonna do it with weight training. We're gonna do it with these drills. And you're gonna be doing these drills two to three times a week, depending on how often you have hard sessions. So. Um, let's run through it. Um, now the first drill and they kind of start basic and then they build. Each drill kind of builds on itself. It's also hitting different muscle groups. So you'll see but um, it's a lot of frontwards and backwards motion and then we'll do some lateral motion to try and get our um, inner and outer thighs all warmed up and ready to go so you're not going to pull any muscles. Um, but right now let's start with the first one which is a skip. So, I might be really bad at these, by the way. I did a super heavy leg session this morning, so have grace on me. <laughs> but, uh, so anyways, A skip. So, this is what, I'm gonna do it in fast motion, and then maybe I'll just kind of explain it afterwards. So notice when I come off the ground, I wanna see full extension out of that back leg. And so what I'm talking about full extension is not, when you're coming off the ground, you shouldn't be coming off like that. Like you should be pushing through the ground so hard and you use that by flexing this quad. So you flex this quad and at the same time you're pushing with your glute and then you're gonna get full power, full extension off the ground. So, and also to think about on this drill, keeping your toe up when it comes off the ground, I want your toe up dorsiflex. Not like that, okay? So here we go. Just see how poppy, well, it's supposed to be poppy. I don't know if I'm actually poppy, but pop, 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 pop. So, and just do like 20 meters. And just do each drill one time. So you, you won't be out there for a, a heck of a long time. So B skip, you're gonna do the same thing. Again, staying nice and tall. This one's kind of, you wanna sit back like this when you do this, cause you'll understand when I tell you what it is. But, uh, and then think of it as, when I think about it, it's like every single time I put my foot out, extend my foot out, I'm thinking about going like as if a hurdle was there. And so I'm like extending over the hurdle, or I picture myself kicking the door down with my heel. So this is gonna really stretch out your upper hamstring. So it looks like this, fast motion. Looks like this. So as long as you're staying tall, you're kicking the door down, you're good. And you'll feel a nice stretch in your upper hamstring. Feel a lot looser after you're doing that one. Okay, so now as runners, you know, we're always going forward. We don't often hit the muscles to balance that out and go backwards. So we're gonna do a backwards skip. And if you struggle with this one, uh, step one is just to do it walking. So all you're gonna do is heel the butt, toe dorsiflex, and then you're just gonna reach back as far as you can. Reach back and try, try not to, when you reach back, to unhip, unhinge your hips. So I'm just using my glutes, using my hamstrings, and extending back as far as I can, opening up my hip flexors, 
And you, when you get comfortable enough to skip with that one, in fast motion, it looks like this. We're gonna go to some lateral movements. So first one, I just call these spread eagles. I don't know what they're actually called, but um, so again, staying. This one you don't, you're not all the way tall, but uh, you'll see. What, what I'm going for here is full extension with your legs, right? And so you can do this with your arms too. It kind of helps, but that's what I want you guys to think about in this drill. Just like getting as much distance between your legs as possible. So it will look like this. So we got a lateral movement there. Um, n another lateral movement we're gonna do now. So that, that, the emphasis of that first one was opening everything up. That should open up our groins. Emphasis of this one, we're working on turnover and we're also opening up our inner and outer thighs here. So karaoke, you guys have, I'm sure you've seen this before. If you haven't, it's basically over, step, behind, step, over, step, behind, step. Fast motion, looks like this. And I want your toes straight forward, I want your hips straight forward, I want your shoulders straight forward, so not a bunch of this. So it looks like this. And just trying to pop off the ground as quick as you can. All right, so uh, that does it for the lateral movements. Um, now we're gonna go to butt kicks. So what we're looking for in an ideal stride is this. And there is some variation. Like if you watch pictures of me running or other, some other runners, like they'll come way back. Um, so, you know, everyone, it's gonna look somewhat different from person to person. But ideally, we're just going for that. Like. That's the stride, just heel to butt, toe dorsiflex, and then back down. So here we're just working on this, this, this. Okay, so we're just doing butt kicks. The, you wanna try and see how close you can get your heel to your butt. And it's fast up and down, slow going forward. So it's like this. And stay tall, slight lean forward, as quick as you can on and off the ground. So now we're going to do uh, the other portion of your stride, which is this portion. So we're going to do high knees. Again, on this one, really make sure you fight off the urge to drift back. Like you're going to feel like drifting back to try and it makes it a little easier for you to get your, your uh, knee up. But we don't want that because that's not how I want you running. I want you, like I said, tall and falling forward. So same thing, tall and falling forward on the, on the high knees. So it looks like this. Fast up and down, slow to slow forward. So now we're gonna put together those last two drills. This one, you give yourself some time to get through it. Um, it helps if you sing the can can in your head. Da na, I don't know if it's called the can can, but da na 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 da na 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 na. You'll see once I start doing. It. But that's the rhythm of it. So what it is, first the butt kick, then you're gonna stay on the same leg, come down, tap the ground, come back up with the high knee. So butt kick, high knee, and then you switch legs. Butt kick, high knee, butt kick, high knee. And if at first you just need to do this standing here, that's fine, just do it standing. Uh, but eventually, you're gonna wanna put a skip in there, Again, really quick up, up and down off the ground. So it looks like this. Butt kick, high knee. 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 Notice again, leg extension. I want that back leg as straight as possible. Uh, the can can, like I was saying. Dun, na, 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 na. Dun, na, 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 na. All right, last one. Uh, these are my favorite ones to do like right before I go to the start line, called Tiger Paws. Um, people kind of struggle with this one as well. So if you need to, you can just like hold on to the side of a fence and just do it stationary. 
but it's better to do it in the running motion. So this last one just puts them all together. Uh, it's gonna do, do your full stride like that, essentially, as fast as you can. And, it's, and in all the ways that we just trained it. So butt to, heel to butt, toe up, back down, contact the ground, mid foot and fast popping off the ground so what you do when you're doing fast motion so you can just do just standing like do like 15 times per leg holding on to something it's a little easier once you get good at it um, you can do it uh, with a little bit of jog and this is how I typically do it so it's like three or four or five whatever slow steps and then pop and then slow steps and other leg pop Slow, 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 pop. Slow, 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 pop. Okay, so that's it for the drills. Then on the strides, what I want you guys to do is, uh, uh, so start with six times 100 meters. Just, and each stride should build on the last one. So your first stride should be like 80%. It should be fairly chill. Then about 85%, 90%, and like 92%, 93%, 95%. So it's just like ever so slightly. And you're never getting to top end speed. You know, none of them are max sprints. But you're getting, you're, you're edging yourself getting closer and closer. And then finish off with a one or two by 50 meter sprints. Where again, it's not, it's not full like max sprint, but it's pretty close, but it's shorter. So, and, and when you're doing these strides, like, Think about all the stuff you've just done your drills. Think about staying tall. Think about arm carriage like we talked about already. Um, think about your feet popping off the ground um, really quickly. Think about driving through the ground, getting as much power off the ground as you can, engaging your glutes. So that's it guys. Those are the drills and strides I want you guys to do for all your races and all your workouts.